Um, so it's a real working quarry and they've got a trail that I'm going to be honest, this is a need to know. This is Crossbar Ranch in Davis, Oklahoma. Another rocky place. Um, you can see it's a, a wetland mixed with dirt, rock faces, hard pack. Um, this is a Yamaha out there. I've seen some Yamahas. Not a problem at all to be out there shifting gears in low gear um, or at low RPM. And so I think that if I had to gauge this place next to Disney, you can watch my other video um, about Disney, my review on uh, my channel, B Shipman Films, and give us a subscribe, a like, and ring that notification bell. But if you check that video out, you can compare these two. This one is probably a lot less water oriented if you were looking for a hot summer ride. This is probably not the best place to go as far as getting wet. Now it's fun when it's open. In the winter they close for a seasonal hunting sort of uh, season thing. I don't know, I don't hunt and shit, but. Um, so whenever they're not hunting, they let people go out there and do this and guys like this show up. And let me show you another video here. This is a video I edited. Da -da 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 -da. Um, this is a skit I did, Ride Styles of the Sick and Brainless. You can find those on YouTube also. So this is the majority of those competition spots where people just hang out and watch crazy people do crazy stuff. Um, it's not as fast paced as this video makes it out to be. It's a really kind of slow place. Disregard that gnarly spill, also my brother. Um, but the water riding is fun. The scenery is really cool. It's not hard to get up these trails. This is just a really hard spot and um, there's mud obviously. This is this guy is dedicated to finding it so it's not like that all the time. All the time and uh, yeah I mean four seaters, two seaters. This is an easy trail up the big hill and um, I mean he's asleep. That's how comfy this place is to ride. Um, this is a family of four, a couple of dudes getting at it, and their family four back there. I mean, so you can you can make it up. People family ride all the time. It's a really cool spot. Um, I would highly suggest the same as far as not going alone, knowing what to do in a machine when you get yourself in a pinch. And let's be honest, wear a helmet. If you're going to go out there and you don't know what you've got in store for yourself, wear a helmet. Even if you do know, wear a helmet, but... Uh, like I said on the other video, I'm really not um, going to sit here and claim that I wear a helmet all the time. So I wear my braces. I wear my seat belts. It is what it is. Comment. You can share your comments. I know you guys won't refrain from doing that. So say what you will. But anyway, um, wear a helmet. Don't go alone. Use your head. Um, you know, low gear. A lot of these places are low gear. The next place I'm going to talk about is, is high gear. But... Uh, yeah, so Davis is the rock quarry in which Oklahoma gets all of its gravel. Um, so it's a real working quarry, and they've got a trail that I'm going to be honest, this is a need to know. I'm going to tell you what it's like pulling into this place. If you have a big-ass coach or some sort of rig that you think you need to keep pristine and clean and just on flat road, don't pull into this place. It's insane to pull through. It's from what I feel is like a good two to four miles of just boulders this damn big. Um, it's not the most RV friendly place as far, in, as, far as pulling in. Um, they only have a handful of electric camp. It's a lot of generator, no hookup. There's a spill they've got there for your septic, um, but you have to pull up and wait in a line when you leave. Um, I know I'm not painting the best picture at this moment, but the riding is worth it. So if you can get yourself a reserve spot or you can find yourself a generator, you can park along the big access road that's got just open spots forever. Um, you can find yourself in a really cool place. Um, it's really pretty in the fall if you can get there around the hunting season. And it's really pretty uh, in the summer. It's just a little hot and dusty. So like I said, wear, uh, rock a windshield. Um, stock tires, stock wheels, stock lift stock ride from, like I said, about a 570 
which is the 900 XP frame and uh, wheelbase and everything uh, around that size, you'll be good. Don't go out there in some busted ass, you know, Honda 250 Rancher with no helmet. I've seen so many people get hurt from not using their noggin, just going for it. Um, just be safe. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I've done some dumb shit. There's vidgies on it on the internet. Don't do it. All right? Blake Shipman, B. Shipman Films, reviews, all my motocross videos, all my stuff. I've got so many things. Ronnie Mack, Jimmy McGarth, uh, the best writers in the business, B. Shipman Films, YouTube.com. Subscribe, like, hit the notification bell. I'm trying to get this thing going, getting more active in it. And uh, now that the government done took my job away, I'm going to spend a lot more time here with you. It's going to be badass. <laughs>